Hello guys and welcome back. So since we have the fully functional camera controller and player controller now from this video onwards we will animate our player. So in order to do that let's first of all click on our player model and in here we will create another folder by the name of animations then in here we will add all of the animations for our player so once you created the folder after that open up your browser and search for Miximo.com and as you know that I am using this character which is Erica Archer so I will just select my character as you can see it is already selected because we have downloaded this character in our previous videos but if you guys are using some other character then find your own character fpx file for example this is the character fpx file and then click on this show in explorer and as you can see this is the fpx file of my character and now we can click on this upload character and since in Windows 11 we can't drag and drop any file in the taskbar so what we will do we will select the character file so if you go inside the Assassin Creed clone then assets then inside the player model and right here we can find this Erica Archer.fbx you can select your own player game object fbx file and then just simply click on open and now it will upload that character so now as you can see this is the character I will click on next and then again next and my character will be uploaded right here as you can see okay so in this way you can upload your own character to this website and then click on animations and now from here we will select our animation for example first of all let's search for idle animation and right here as you can see there are many idle animations so you can just select any of the animation for example I will select this first one so just click on it and right here as you can see this is the animation in this idle animation as you can see the player arms are inside the player body so in order to fix this let's increase this character arm space to for example 65 and now as you can see the hands are outside of the player body so now what we can do we can just simply click on download and right here in the format we will select the FBX for unity then we will select without skin and then click on download and as you can see it is downloaded now after the idle we need a walking animation so as you can see there are many walking animations so if we select this animation and click on in place okay so as you can see this is the animation okay let's increase the arm space to 55 and now it looks good let's download this animation and make sure that it is in place like that okay the setting will be the exact as the previous one fpx for unity and without skin if you download it with the skin then it will download this character as well so we already have the character we just want the animation so select without skin then click on download and as you can see this animation is downloaded as well now we need a, a running animation so these are the animations if we select this one for example let's select in place okay so here it is this is the animation let's increase the arm space to 52 okay there it is this will be the animation so let's click on download fpx4 unity and without skin
so as you can see it is downloaded so now inside this animations folder in unity let's add these three animations inside that folder so what we will do right here we will click on show in explorer open up this animation folder and then in there we will just paste it okay so these are the animations now if you get back to unity as you can see these are the animations the idle running and walking so let's select the idle animation right here click on this rig and click on this generic change it to humanoid and then we will say the avatar definition it will be copy from other avatar and now in here we will select the character avatar so it is Erika Archer right here select that click apply and you will select your own character avatar okay so as you can see this is my character Erika Archer so I will select this avatar of my character so now as you can see it is added right there if we click on animation as you can see we have the character right here if we play the animation and you can see the animation is being played now after this if we click on the running animation right here change this to humanoid and then copy from other avatar and in here we will select Eric Archer as well click apply then let's select the other animation change it to humanoid then copy from other avatar and then select the Erika Archer avatar click apply now if we change into animation as you can see this is the animation now if you click on the running animation here it is right here on the running animation we will set this to loop time and loop pause and then the root transform rotation will be original okay and then for the root transform position y we will say bake into pause and this will be original as well and then the root transform position for the x and c we will say original as well and if we click apply now as you can see he is running right there okay so make sure that you do these changes as well and also for the X and Z make sure that it is baked into pose as well okay so now as you can see here is the character now after the running let's click on the walking and let's do the same for this one as well select original then peg into pose peg into pose for this one as well and then select original that is it if we click apply here is the walking animation and if we get back to the walking again right here make sure that the root transform rotation is also peg into pose okay and for the idle let's do the same as well click apply and that will be it okay so now we have the animation for the player basic movement so now in the next video we will add this animation to our player